Oh yeah, boys, iPod first generation here. What's up guys, it is I, the Apple Buyer here today, and I'm back with a brand new video for you all. And today we have an iPod first generation inside this box. I am really excited to unbox this thing. Normally I don't do unboxing videos like this, but this is a bit of a special iPod and hopefully you'll see why. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about this iPod and how I got it and everything and just the details about while I open it. So here it is. Um, I bought this on eBay for $30. It was a pretty good deal if you ask me. I want to be careful here too because I don't know how this box is set up and I'd really hate to mess up the the contents inside. You guys like that beautiful knife by the way? Uh, I'll make a video, a, sh a very short video on how that white stuff happened there. Um, it wasn't anything bad though. I mean, it wasn't good for the knife, but I mean, it wasn't anything bad if you get what I mean by. But um, yeah, this, this box is not very nice. So um, yeah. Okay, so I kind of ripped the box to shreds, but who cares? This is just the shipping box. So if we open this bad boy up, Oh, uh, there's still some extra tape here, but we can snap that. Wow, look at that. Look at that, boys. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, man. That's right. It is in its original packaging. I mean, it's not the original packaging. It, it's the... Um, a friend of mine said it was like the Apple Care replacement box, but still. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Apple certified, so... This was, and it even says right there, this is a refurbished iPod here. So, a refurbished iPod Touch first generation with its box and everything. So, I'm just going to switch the camera angle real quick and we can look inside it. Well, Apple always does these amazing uh, unboxing experiences. This has already been open before. It's used, but still, I mean, just look at that nice box. And, oh, the guy has it all nice and sealed up too. Would you look at that? That's actually kind of nice. Kind of. I asked him if he could seal it up for me beforehand, so looks like he, he did a pretty good job at it. I thank you, my dude. So there's the iPod and its little thing there. I guess I gotta break open this ceiling real quick. But then, of course, we got the manual here. Let's just open up this manual real quick. I want to see this. Does it come with the stickers? Does it? Ooh, iPod Touch Quick Start. Oh, yep. See, this is the original Quick Start guide here pretty long quick start guide here too actually I mean look at that geez very extensive stuff and of course set a lock screen wallpaper and watch videos so pretty nifty and of course web browsing but I don't think you can web browse with this thing anymore but um listen responsibly <laughs> either way pretty cool and then we got the iPod touch and basically just the important stuff and then the stickers. Yeah, I got the original stickers, my dude. Bless this person's heart. So we'll just put this away here. I want to keep... Oh, he even gave me the original cleaning cloth. Cool, I got the... Oh, wow. Okay, I got the cleaning cloth included. Nice. Okay, well, anyway, I'll, I'll put this all away later. So there's that. And then... What was this? Oh, this was the charging cable. Okay, so the guy was nice and put the charging cable inside it, looks like. I don't know if I want to open this or not, though. Like, should I open it? Eh, screw it. I'll keep this nice, so. But, yep, here's the charging cable and the... I'm not sure if this is... Oh, yeah, I forgot all about this stuff. So yeah, uh, I don't know if these are legitimate earbuds or not, if these are the legit original earbuds. It looks like this is, though, because um, I'd have to test it, but this looks like it's an o like an OG cable. So we got the 30-pin dot cable here, and then I don't even know what this is. What even is this? Like, is this, like, for the dot? Because the person gave me the dot here, too, which... Is still still sealed holy crap are you kidding me this is still sealed if anyone can explain to me like what these things two things here do I have a feeling these two like connect to each other but like 
I'm not very sure how this thing works or if it's even the full assembly, but cool, I guess. So we got the original, or I think the original ear earbuds. Um, original charging cable here. I can tell just by the way of it. This is a, an official cable. And then, of course, we got the uh, whole, like, quick start guide, stickers, even the cleaning cloth. I didn't expect the cleaning cloth. And then the original box for the iPod. This is a refurbished iPod, so this technically is the original box, but still, it's a box. I still love this box, in fact. I think the refurbished unit boxes look nicer, if you ask me. I just like how they have that whole iPod thing and stuff. This was when they still made good boxes, in fact. Now they're all cheap and plasticky. Of course, you guys want to see the iPod here. This, Like I said, this is all used, or at least some of it, but it does come with everything, so I'm really happy about that. And the guy apparently was nice enough because I asked him to repack everything so that way this would be perfect for an unboxing video. So he did, he, the guy did the job right. I mean, he even sealed it up for me, although it's used. I wasn't really expecting that, but I guess we can just peel this off here. Like, I don't want to ruin this box. So let me see how this thing here does. I don't want to tear anything up either, but like, looks like I kind of have to. Okay, I understand how this box works. So you just kind of like slide it out apparently. That's like the way I'm su assuming because look, it's kind of sliding out as I push it through. So um, in the pictures, I saw this thing. It didn't look like it had much scratches. So we're about to see the moment of truth here. Let's check out that screen. Uh -huh. The screen's in really good condition actually. Oh, and the home button's good too. Now let's just take a quick look at the back. This is the moment of truth. Let's see how bad the scratches are. Wow. Dang. This is in actually really good condition. I mean, there are scratches there, but it's not bad. I mean, look, you can even see me. Look at that. What's up, dude? It was good. You can see me crystal clear. I mean, heck, this is in really good condition. So let's turn this bad boy on. And this is an 8 gigabyte, by the way, but I mean, I'm going to be using this just for music, so 8 gigs is plenty, really, for me. Um, it's also running iOS 3, I believe. I was correct, it is running iOS 3.1.3. Not a big deal, though. I might downgrade this thing. Tell me what guy, uh, if you guys want to see any downgrades on this device. I won't be touching it too much because I want to get a case for it since... Look at how good a condition this thing is. I don't want to even touch this thing. If you see me holding it, you're seeing me hold it like this. So that way I don't get my fingerprints all over it. So uh, I won't be doing much with this thing for now until I get a case for it. Since I do want to take good care of this thing. This thing deserves good care. But um, yeah, I'm going to be using this thing as a, a music device too. Because that little headphone, it's got a headphone jack there, my dudes. And the DAC inside this thing is one of the best or it isn't one of the best, it is the best for the iPod Touches. I'll let you guys take one last good look at this iPod here. As I said, very good condition. The home button, I've heard uh, things about the iPod first gen home buttons being really bad. And um, I don't know if you can hear that or not. But the home button is perfect on this thing, really. This iPod is perfect. And I just want you guys to listen to the little click on here. I love the click. I just, I don't know why, but since this device doesn't have speakers, it doesn't even have volume buttons, I always loved, like, the little clicks it makes. I don't know why, I just always loved it. It just sounds so satisfying. Like, I think the clicks that the iPod first generation make are better than, like, the iOS 10 clicks. And also, yes, the Wi-Fi antenna works, so that's really nice. I'm glad about that. I gotta clean that stuff off there. I don't know, I don't know what that is, bro, but, you know still great condition I, I love this ipod already all right guys so this is my ipod touch first generation here with pretty much everything got the earbuds again the charger the i don't know what this is here um and then the dock or at least part of the dock it looks like i don't know and then of course we got the manual with the original cleaning cloth so i mean and hey the the box too so I'm really happy I got this. This was $30, like I said, straight up. I couldn't pass this deal up. 
and I'm happy I bought this thing. Now I just need a case for it, and then I will be doing a bunch of videos with this thing. This iPod here is going to be fun to do a lot of videos with. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of shabby unboxing. I'm not that good at unboxing, guys. You'd be surprised by how much practice it takes to be good at a unboxing. Thank you for watching. I did buy an iMac G3 um, yesterday, actually. It's in the mail right now. It's shipping, so you'll be seeing an unboxing of that, too, since that's a pretty special device. I'm not I'm not going to do, like, an unboxing of every device I buy. It's just the really in important and special ones that, like, only happen once, like the unboxing of, like, this old iPod here. It's just, like, one-time things. Don't expect me to be like, oh, I bought an iPhone 3GS and it's not coming with anything but the phone. Hey, let's unbox it. Nah, that's that's not really important. No one really cares that much about it. So, as I say all the time, thank you a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and peace.